Hello all, my name is Shelby. I am new. I am blessed to be a mother of three beautiful children. My youngest being one years old. We're hoping to give all you mommies, daycare providers, and teachers ideas for playtime, fine and gross motor activities, bonding time. So please subscribe to the channel. Check us out in the future. We'll be bringing you three to five videos a week, different activities. Um, today, however, we are going to be making our own baby food paint and then painting with baby. So let's check it out. Okay, so today we're going to be using some baby cereal, some food coloring. I've chosen three colors today green, blue, and pink. When baby mixes while he's painting he will be creating a bit of a purple so there will be a cool experimental discovery piece to that for him to find out on his own and then we just use some water. So basically you just put some baby cereal in the bowl, it doesn't really matter how much, and then you're going to add water to your desired consistency, however much you want. The the more liquidy it is, the wetter your paper will be, and the longer it might take for it to dry. So just kind of play around with it. We're going to need some more water in that one. This is my son's second time painting like this. We did it a few months ago, right about the time he was eight months old, and he really enjoyed it. And it's completely taste safe, which is one of the reasons why I love doing it. So let's see. That's a good, good consistency. You don't want it too soupy and then they can't really create very much with it. So after you've got it to your desired consistency, you're just going to add some drops of food coloring. Mix. very patiently waiting to paint. Yeah. It's a nice bright green. Alright. Alright, so we have our paints made. My son and I will be doing this on our living room floor. I have a waterproof picnic blanket that we're using to put underneath it. You can do this in the high chair anywhere. You just want to make sure that you are able to tape the paper down that baby is painting on. I learned the hard way when he was eight months old that if he can pick up the paper he will definitely pick up the paper and try to rip it while you guys are painting. So we have three different kinds of paint brushes for him to use. We have a thick one, a thin one, a flat square one. We also have a car for him to roll through the paint. This goes to his water drawing mat for him to be able to push it. And he also has a ball that he will be painting with that he's currently chewing on. So let's get painting. So he started painting. He chose the green paint. And it's really just about letting baby do what feels right and what feels comfortable. Baby may use their hands, which is totally okay. They're learning. He is practicing using utensils. He just turned about a month old um, just a few weeks ago, or a year old just a few weeks ago. Sorry about that. He has bath crayons that he gets to use in the bathtub, and like I said, he has a water drawing mat where he can cr draw with water pens and markers that he really enjoys. And there it goes. <laughs> I 
as he tries to clean it up. <laughs> there, mommy's going to paint with you. And then after baby has decided that they're all done, what you'll want to do is let the picture dry somewhere. You can leave it taped down. It'll be really hard to remove while it's wet. You might, you might rip it. But you'll want to let it dry, and then when it's completely dry, then you can take it off. As you can see, I have just a little bit of the edges taped so that I can cut the tape off when it's all ready. I do have his previous piece that I will show you here shortly. Are you mixing the colors? Wow, are you going to make purple? Good job. Is that your paintbrush? Let's see what color. Oh, purple. Touching it with your fingers. Does it feel wet? And green. Yes, and greeny. Use the ball. Here. Paint with the ball. Look. Paint. Whoa. Beautiful job, mister. Are you mixing? Oh, now you're going to paint with your fingers. Oh, mommy's turn? Okay. Wow. Car. In the bowl. Here you go. Yeah. Are you feeling the bristles? Are they soft? Yeah. Now you're mixing. Are you going to make purple again? Yeah. Paper? Put it on the paper. No. Oh, good job. Good job. No. Yeah. yeah. This can be a very messy project. Yeah. However, babies learn best when they're able to explore without restrictions of their environment. And it's just baby cereal. It's so easy to clean up. Messes are so easy to clean up. Clothes can be washed. Skin can be washed. The most important thing is that he's exploring his environment, the different textures, and his own creativity. Oh, and now you're scooping. Oh. Put it on the. Oh, beautiful. Now it's in your toes. Oh dear. This is what your child's piece of artwork will look like after it has dried. 
So this was the one that he made a few months ago. As you can tell, he got very excited. And I put his name on it. And we put it on our wall of creativity here in our house. Creativity is extremely important. Expressing yourself is huge and keeping your brain happy and healthy. So thank you for joining us today for this super awesome, super messy project. He had a lot of fun, actually. Thank you for joining us for the super fun, super messy project today. He is still going at it, and let me tell you, it is a beautiful rainbow. I love watching him work. Thank you again for joining us. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and check in later this week for a new video.